I get to finally go to sleep, and you want to know why? That's because I have an epic Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Duel Replay to show you guys of me successfully farming epic Yami Yugi at level 40. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and today I'm going to be showcasing my farm on how I personally farmed epic Yugi. Now, the decklist that I'm going to show you is going to be a Yubel decklist, but I will also talk about my Blue Eyes White Dragon decklist that I used in January. If you guys want to check that out, I'll, I'll pop that up in the top right corner right here, and I'll throw that decklist in the description. But this one's going to be a Yubel um, farm video, that I'm, or deck that I'm going to be using and my previous one was a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Personally Blue Eyes White Dragon doesn't really like me like at all so that's why I'm not using it this go around but Yubel has been working out for me but at the same time Yubel is in from the latest event in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links so most of you guys should have Yubel if you've been keeping up with the game. Anyways though this deck list right here is the final deck list. I'm going to tell you guys a couple so this is the deck list that I did use for my successful farm but there's a couple changes that I need to talk about and I will talk about this in this deck list but anyways though as always if you guys are excited for today's farm video and this farm video helps you guys out as always be sure to go hit that like button on the video down below and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers so I'd appreciate if you guys help me out with that anyways though let's begin so in my replay I got extremely lucky but one thing I am missing in this deck list is that you're gonna want to run the you belt the ultimate nightmare because epic Yu-Gi does have a thousand knives now in the dual replay I'm going to show you guys and in my situation epic Yu-Gi used his thousand knives and got rid of one of my sand gets which made me get into the clear to search for you bell and then sacrifice you belt to go into terra carnet but just in case if he doesn't use his thousand knives early on in the game and you only have a terra carnet out on the field you're gonna want to have terra carnet and an ultimate nightmare so we're gonna happen is that once he kills your terra carnet with a thousand knives you're gonna want a special summon into the ultimate nightmare and he, he will not attack you with his dark magicians because he doesn't want to take any damage um due to that and so far for what i've noticed yugi only has seems to have only one copy of a thousand knives another thing too in this deck list is that we're going to be running two copies of your sand gan um if you don't have this don't worry about it just play some draw cards like jar of greed or something like that but if you do have sand again i strongly recommend it because you're going to be able to search up for your you bell um and you're going to want to get you bell or if you don't or actually yeah you're going to be using sangha to search for your bell next up we're going to be running three copies of fire king avatar yaksha and three copies of fire king island because of the fact that this is going to be the cards you're going to use to destroy your bell in hand to then special summon terror carnet so you're going to run and run these cards right here next up we have one copy gravekeeper's vassal this is going to be the card that we're going to use to direct attack into next up we're going to be using the calculator for a big big boost next up we're gonna have double summon so that we can summon calculator and grave keepers vassal both at the same time and i also just remembered huge shout out to arng for this deck list i used this deck list um for my farm and stuff like that and he made this uh you know farm video thing a long long time ago uh when epic yuki first came out and yugi -Oh dealing so i forgot to shout him out but i'm gonna shout him out now his video will be in the description down below but his video is from january this one's kind of like a new updated one but it seems like um epic yugi is kind of the same um and all that stuff right there sorry about that i completely forgot to shout him out but i'm gonna shout him out now shout out to the homie next up we have a uh, two copies of union attack because we're going to be use that to boost up the great pupus vassal next up jar shard of greed you don't really need to run it at first i ran this only because of the fact that um technically it is a plus one because you are using one card to draw two cards and since this is a farm the point of it is to stall so eventually i would be able to draw a lot um i did find out though that i really don't want to run this card for a couple reasons one epic yuki has a thousand knives and he would just destroy it anyways at two i need room for my ultimate nightmare since i didn't run it in my previous deck but now i am so i'm going to be using the ultimate nightmare instead and then what's a better alt alternative is jar greed because you could chain it to his anti-magic or his a uh, magic card that he uses to destroy all your monsters so you could run that but at first i was running shard of greed because it technically is a plus one but you know eventually you'll destroy it like a beanie head right there and then yeah any other cards i forgot and then last but not least secret passive treasures um here's uh, all the cards on how to find them before we showcase the replay here's the rise of the U bell all these uh terror carnet cards or these U bell cards are from the rise of the U bell event so keep in mind of that. Hopefully you bell come as a gate duelist later in the future so everybody and your mother can get you bell. Because I know not everybody has you bell. But at the same time, you bell came out pretty recently again. So if you don't have you bell, you guys have must not been playing dueling so much in the past couple months. Oh well. Now let's know sand gets from the guys Genesis box if you uh, need to get sand gets still. Fire King Avatar Yaksha is in the Donna Destiny Mitty box. Uh Gravekeeper's Vassals from ranked duels or um Ziju Ishtar level up reward. Next up, the Calculadora is from the Electric Overlord box. Double Summon is from a Chaos Compliance. Union Attack is from a Yugi Moto Dual Rewards. So you can also use an SR um, ticket if you have one to get Union Attack. I'd recommend doing that. Next up, we have Adon of the Destiny from the Fire King Island. We have for Secret Passive Treasures, the Ultimate Rising box. 
And then last but not least, Jar, Jar Grease from a um, thing. But you can honestly replace this with pretty much anything you want if you really wanted to. And last but not least, we're also running Restart so we can open up into the hands that we want to. Sorry for the long and, you know, deck list right there. But I need to explain to you guys how this is going to work. And anyways, though, let's go check out your boy Yugi Moto versus Yami Yugi. And I'm going to show you guys how I did my farm and walk you through on how it kind of is. But it also is really easy to set up and I would recommend not worrying about it too much. Still, I'm really happy that uh, Epic Yugi is coming back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling. So I want to try to get three copies of his new Exodia card so I can build some epic Exodia decks and all that fun stuff right there. Anyways though, so we opened up with an interesting hand. I decided to not restart because of Sand Gan because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set Sand Gan so that we can uh, search out for you, Bell. So I set my Sand Gan, activate that Shard of Greed and turn. Yugi, what he's going to do is that he's just going to set a card. He didn't really do anything. So I was like, thanks, Yugi. So what I did is I just set another Sand Gan and called it good. Next up, uh, he's summoned into a Legion of Fiend Jester and activates his Internal Soul. This card is like crazy good because every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by opponent card effects. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy a monster using control. He only can use this effect of Eternal Soul once per turn. He only can activate these effects. If I summon a Dark Magician for your hand or graveyard or add a Dark Magic Attack or a Thousand Dice for your deck to your hand, this card is like crazy good. And throughout this farm, we're going to see that Dark Magician is not going to die at all because of Eternal Soul. Except the Eternal Soul is going to activate. He's going to special summon that Dark Magician. Let's go check out that animation. I haven't seen this Dark Magician animation in a hot minute. So that's pretty cool right there. Very epic. And then we're going to see what else uh, your boy Epic Yugi is going to do. Next up, he's just going to... I think what he did... Yep, he activated Thousand Ice right here. So from what I've noticed, it seems like he only has one copy of a Thousand Ice from his deck. And he sniped one of my Sand Gans, sadly. So what I did is I searched out um, for Ebel. Next up, uh, you, your boy is going to activate Dark Magic Attack. Sadly, my poor Shard of Greed was destroyed. Probably should have been playing Shard of Greed instead. Except though our other Sand Gan got destroyed. Can't activate our second Sand Gans effect, sadly. But it's so well. We take 2,500 points of damage. Now, I forgot that I was running three copies copies of Yaksha in my deck list, so this play is going to be ridiculous because I'm going to crash into um, the Dark Magician uh, for the memes and shenanigans of summon Yubel, but that's because I forgot that I'm running three Yaksha. So I was trying out a different Yubel build, and I only had one Yaksha in it, so that's what my head was thinking right here. Anyways, though, we're going to destroy the Yubel anyways and summon the Terra Carnet, and we're good from here. Um, for most of you guys, though, that are going to be able to get Yubel turn one, that's why I'm telling you guys to run the Ultimate Nightmare, just in case if Yugi kills your Terra Carnet with the 1,000. Nice, if that chain stuff works, because I can never remember how chains work in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like a confusing concept to me, and, you know, since I play Duel Links all the time, um, it kind of holds my hand through it. But I believe that Yubel's effect will still go through, and that there's no chain link to or anything like that that's going to happen. Anyways, though, yeah, we're just chilling right here. There's literally nothing else that we can do. It's just, you know, back and forth right here. Terra Carnet's effect activates, doesn't get, doesn't destroy the Dark Magicians because of the Eternal Soul. And we're just going to keep drawing cards from here. He does summon into the Apprentice Solution Magician, but still can't really do anything to us, which is good. And we activate another Shard of Greed, because I was running two copies of Shard of Greed, as you saw from the beginning of this video. So that actually helped me out with thinning out my deck like crazy. Um, that's for sure. So I do recommend ro rocking some drop power in your deck, especially because uh, Yugi will be able to thin out his deck with um, Internal Soul, and you don't want Yugi to deck out before you do. Anyways, though, we discarded three Fire King Islands, which is funny. Discarding another Yaksha. Yaksha. And we kind of go from here. Almost nearing the end of this, because what you're going to want to do is by the time you have zero cards in your deck, so this is the final turn. So on your very, very last turn, we have zero cards in your deck. What you're going to do is you're going to want to normal summon into the calculator. Calculator is going to get a boost of attack because of the calculator gains the attack of all the uh, levels on the field or on your side of the field times 300. Next up, we're going to activate that double summon to go into Gravekeeper's uh, Vassal. Next up, we're going to follow up with the secret pass of the treasures and we're going to target our boy, Gravekeeper's Vassal. Next up, we're going to follow with two Union attacks to get our Gravekeeper's Vassal, and we're going to use both of these unique attacks to specifically target Gravekeeper Vassal. And then last but not least, we're going to go for that direct attack and get 10,000 points of damage. Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. So that's really awesome right there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to farming you bell and all that stuff right there. Here's the deck list one more time. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys can't play you bell um, and you can't build this whole deck, you can try out my Blue Eyes White Dragon build. That it did do the job for me a couple times, but I just personally didn't want to use a Blue Eyes White Dragon anymore, mostly because of the fact that Blue Eyes White Dragon just does not like me. And I brick with that deck more than I actually get successful farms and just stuff like that. I brick with Blue Eyes way too much. There's a reason why the running gag of Blue Eyes bricks is a reason uh, in that right there but so hope you guys uh, liked this video and if you watched to the end of this video and you haven't already be sure to go hit that like button on the video down below to show your support and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content and other stuff like that uh, anything else I could say is really just check out some of my previous videos if you're bored if you watch to the end of this video 
it's most likely because you're just kind of bored and stuff like that and i'd appreciate if you watched some of my other previous videos because i made an awesome stardust charge warrior deck and i also made a awesome let's play that i started with one of my friends where it's Yu Gi Oh um pokemon game where all pokemon is replaced with Yu Gi Oh cards and stuff like that so shout outs to all that stuff check those out if you you know are bored and stuff like that so yeah it's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll go see you guys in the next Yu Gi Oh duel links video and whenever i decide to upload one of those peace out guys i appreciate you all goodbye